So Profession is my fourth album on the Pentatone label and uh, we've had a really great working partnership so far and released a lot of different things but this is the first album that will focus uh, only on works that were written originally for the guitar. All the albums that I've put out uh, before then have been uh, largely arrangement focused. Um, and so what I'm looking at now is works by 20th century composers by, uh, from South America. So Barrios from Paraguay, Villalobos from Brazil, and Chilistero from Argentina. Um, although South America has a really strong link to Segovia in terms of uh, the music that he was commissioning, um, he was working particularly with like Mexican composers and obviously very heavily with Villalobos. This is not music that one would think of actually as Segovian. It goes um, sort of from that as a starting point, uh, but to musical aesthetics that are quite um, extreme. And as Breen felt actually, I think he used the word uh, vulgar, which uh, maybe is not particularly kind, but um, it does give you an impression of the amount of uh, pyrotechnics and uh, guitar beating that is involved in this music. Um, it is, I think, sometimes very sophisticated, but it does have moments which are uh, incredibly violent. And a lot of the music uh, at the end of the Cycle of Twelve Etudes by Villalobos uh, is stuff that taps into what he felt was um, the culture of the indigenous people. So he would often tell stories of how uh, intimately involved he'd been with uh, tribes. Uh, we don't know exactly how accurate his stories were. We do know that at some points that he was saying he was spending with, uh, he was spending with local tribes, he was in fact in Paris. So he did have, uh, shall we say, a very hyperactive imagination. Uh, but you do hear, particularly in the last half of those 12, uh, as well as the sonata for guitar by Ginastera, uh, the sound of Quechua melodies, distant drums, uh, and the rain falling in the rainforest. Um, so I, I think that what I'm really happy about with this album is that it is something that has things that are very beautiful and sometimes even introverted, but as a whole, it's not actually an introverted album. It's something that is robust, challenging, and grabs you by the lapels in a slightly delirious and um, unstable way.